What's up, folk? Welcome back to another episode of my Hungarian Let's Play Holy Roman Empire Let's Play. Um, it's been pissing me off a little bit, guys, how my name is all the way out here, like, almost exclusively in Russia. Um, I don't really understand that, quite frankly. Like, what? why would this H not at least begin here? Like, I get that Europe is kind of thin, but why would it not, like, you know? Mm. Stupid game sometimes. But I think the more we take out nations like France, the more... Uh, it will look a little bit better, at least. But I am going to begin war with the Ottomans. I just am um, a little bit worried about some of my straddling troops around here. Let's quickly just check out what kind of forces he has. So he seems to have 64,000. So, in fact, two stacks should be able to crush him. But quite frankly, I would like to kind of uh, carpet siege him up a little bit. Um, so let's try it. This is the third stack that I had. I'm kind of happier with the composition. Let's send that out in that direction. Uh, and this stack I wanted to bolster up with three cavalry and uh, three cannons. Three cavalry, three cannons. Oh, we're lacking cannons around here. Okay. So that will be on the way. We have some cannons in this stack. Let's send them down to sort out the composition. So yeah, we've been dealing with a lot of the tedium, guys, but it's a it's a necessary evil. Wait, what? I thought I separated some troops, but I, I seem to have messed that up. I, I, uh... Okay, hang on. All I want there to make it a, a nice 50. We, first of all, get rid of some infantry. And then, uh, four, four cavalry. That's it. That's it. That's it, I say. Yes, sorry about that. Just... An awful load of um, tedium, but it is what it is. Needs to be done, needs to be dealt with in order to make me feel a little bit more comfortable that we're a little bit... What the hell just happened there? Are you serious? Has that been there the whole time and I haven't bloody well sieged that up? Okay, the way that we're going to siege that up is by uh, sending this dude over to do that. Ah... <sighs> So, at the moment, we're only at war with Brunei, uh, but we are massively overextended. I'm going to be declaring war on the Ottomans as well. Once I have some troops poised and ready to go. Now, his capital is right here, and he has no fort on his capital, so that's nice, because it makes Imperialism CB uh, that much easier, I suppose. Got three stacks nearby, and uh, let us equip some generals. I really want to be hiring more generals. I guess we're far enough ahead in military to be hiring generals. Definitely in need of them. I will be hiring them quite liberally now and trying to keep them up. However, uh, I'm just waiting, like, until we actually need them on a particular unit. Because, um, I'm hoping that if we fight these sort of wars back to back, our army tradition will actually go up for once. It's been quite some time since our army tradition has been high. This is sick, though, man. We've got so many nice, large stacks, and they all need to be going out to the right locations. Oh, jeez. I hope the New World can handle that. Rio does have good uh, desire right now, currently. Yeah, we also, um, unfortunately, our power projection is going to be gone this year or next year below. Uh, I'm trying to think, am I ready for our golden era? I don't think just yet. We need to continue sorting out our kind of our composition and stuff. Just wait a couple more years. But we're soon... Perhaps this episode, at the end of this episode, we will begin our golden era. Oh, I need a navy down here to fight Kilwa. So we had two navies here. Uh, okay, we have some heavy ships there. 
I've got a feeling that the British probably have more heavies by far, in fact, when we declare on them. But at the same time, I think we can manage. The AI is uh, usually fairly stupid with their navy. But I need to send a navy down there if we're going to fight kill. Well, we've got plenty of time because I plan to separate pieces friend before hand. Well, let's get a navy on the way down. And the Ottomans once again get declared upon fool. This here is my land. In the name of the Empire. I have did you still vote? Did you still vote? You bastards. Convert some stuff. It looks like we do, thankfully. Gain Imperial influence big time. Thanks to converting. We desperately need an Imperial influence right now. Uh, even though we're losing 10 yearly, we gain considerably more than that via converting, which is good. Okay. Hopefully we can find some more cannons somewhere to... Help. Man, even in grasslands we suffer attrition. I think in farmlands that 50 stack will be okay. But uh, the attrition is not good. Alrighty, we got some cannons there. So this guy, how many cannons do we need? Two. We have a lot of nice stacks being pumped out. Ready to murder some fools. And uh, it's not really affecting our manpower so much, but I think it will. It will soon, shortly. Okay, we're now at five out of six military leaders. Let's we can't afford to go over our military leaders. We need more bloody military power. Of course our heir has a one in military, man. I think we should re-roll them. Our current ruler is young enough. Three, four, one. Let's re-roll this. Rip. Prestige. That's what our prestige is for. Alrighty, so not only am I trying to fight the Ottomans right now, I'm trying to kind of uh, poise my troops. Let's go down this way to be ready to fight Humnus as well. A part of me thinks I should make another client state, like right here, and give him some of what we take from the Ottomans and some of what we take from Bahamas. I'll see how I feel after this war. These guys in uh, Russia, that's almost entirely infantry, eh? Not so hot. I think our trade situation is good for now, guys. Uh, we are going to be gaining some more merchants. If we... We can see here the Philippine Charter... Um, some of these in China, which we don't have very little influence, but a lot of our charters, East African, um, I think, in fact, we could have a merchant right now if we kind of added everything, but, uh, yeah, I can't be bothered, quite frankly, I'm, I'm just going to go the easy route, which is convert an entire region and then, um, you know, what am I trying to say? Convert an entire region and then add it all to the, to the league. The, the whatever it's called trading company okay nice automatically hunting rebels so I guess this navy combined with our light ships is going to be kind of uh, have to be enough 
to be fighting the British. I do want to begin attacking the British as well. So I should have some stacks, you know, we need like one stack to fight France, even though our truce is fine with him. We seem to have a gross lack of cannons. So, let's quickly make a template. Now this is two stacks worth. I got there eventually. Alright, how much does this cost us? Whoa. 1,200. Not too bad. Not too bad. So I'm going to build up some cannons to bolster some of these troops. Now we don't, potentially we don't need like hundreds of stacks, right? But I want enough to uh, be able to continue reinforcing it into the British Isles. And it uh, doesn't look like we have enough stacks there. Uh, you know, I don't want terrible composition on them either. So that's why I'm actually going to be hiring some more cannons there to make sure that those stacks are kind of uh, productive. Alrighty, speaking of stacks being productive, this one's composition is really bad. And he's suffering army tradition quite, attrition quite uh, poorly. I'm getting really nervous with the missionary situation, like... You know, a part of me feels like we uh, are not going to convert the world, but we can do it. I believe. Stop being so pessimistic. We can do this. All right, now we might not go for the full 100% because um, it might not it might not fit in. But uh, yeah, in fact, I think. Like I said, I think a client state helping us convert these provinces is a good move. So let's focus on this side because he's located to where he could continue um, coring up. Oh, actually joining through here would be a smart move as well. So we might take something like that. Something like that, which somehow doesn't seem that big, eh? Oh, our absolutism is not as high as it could be. What happened? Why did it drop? So dramatically. I wonder. No, it's it's that it increased. Our cap increased because our religious unity has improved. Alright, so spending uh, military points that we don't really have, but it's worth it, you know. At least we're not that far behind right now in military. Uh, 50 is the cheapest we can get. We should for sure be increasing our absolutism. For sure, it doesn't go up automatically, so let's just let's just do it. Spend in the fifties. What is it? One more, two more. Wow, so much military points, man, and we're not gaining very many. This is brutal. Oh, we don't even have fifty there. Okay. Oh, that's brutal, 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 brutal. But it's worth it. Military points for admin efficiency. Yes, please. So, uh, yeah, that's even less overextension now. Seems like a uh, slow process stabilizing this region, and it's only going to get even more mad when we uh, attack Kilwa once again. That's the nature of things. Global Settler Increase Modifier. That's nice. Because we do like to settle. Nice uh, event there for some population. Whew. Now I'm wondering, is anything not a subject of 
Ming, not really. Everything's like a subject of Ming right now. There are a few little guys, but uh, they're subjects of Ming as well. Okay. I think uh, not long ago they were subjects of Tibet, but I think Tibet became a subject of Ming again, and uh, things changed. Man, this fort is going to take a while to siege up, eh? That's not good. Let's go blockade the, that to uh, speed it up, because that's depressing me. 444, four, four. alright, that's better. Strong claim, yes. That was worth 50 prestige. That's more like it. We have one in military right now, guys, and our, uh, we're about to lose one when our power position below, goes below 50. Actually, hang on. Ob age objectives fulfilled. We could bump this back up if we could fulfill certain objectives. We can't get discipline. Ah, uh, there's nothing we can really get. We could get a three-star general. That would give us three power pr projection. That's about it. But that's just kind of luck as well. And it would go away again, potentially. Can't really fulfill anything else, right? We can't go Parliament. I can't do that. Can't get discipline i wish i could get 125 percent discipline uh a large city with our capital the only choice would be to change our capital or you know develop it but it would just be, be so expensive it's not worth the points um you know to gain one power projection monthly for a few months well years uh spending hundreds of monarch points on that though it's not a good call So, I think I have decided to make a client state, so I shouldn't be so worried about my overextension with the Ottomans. We should go for 100% war score. We're going for 100% because um, we can hand off 100% to our client state overextension. Now, it's not going to be a tremendous amount, but, uh, yeah. So, we're going to be doing something like this. Well, let's make sure we actually have, like, pathing through like that. Make it a little less janky so we don't have to walk all the way around that mountain. Yeah, something like that against the Ottomans. And uh, that should make them... What am I doing? Under 100% for uh, upcoming war. Cool. I really want to feed Holy Bro, though, really quickly so we can begin integrating him. It's going to be all about going into Bahamas, guys. This is massively having a massive detriment to our manpower. Uh, spending 20k, or 40k rather. Uh, okay, actually, we spent most of the losses we have. Uh, it didn't actually... It hasn't been so much from attrition, right? Because we were at 360. So I'm, I'm heading out to fight the British. Three stacks available. I think that three stacks should be enough to fight the British. Let's have a look at um, Great Britain. Uh, what am I doing? I just made it alphabetical. Oh, there's actually not that many nations any longer, eh? Uh, yes, technically we would outnumber him. He's beating us in tech. We would have... Yeah, we would outnumber him. Our composition's good. Uh, he has quantity... Wow, and that's it. He's just got quantity. Now, he has discipline from his uh, English ideas, but so do we from Hungarian ideas. We are just objectively better than him. Great. So the only real advantage he could have, obviously, is this naval advantage, but I'll be optimistic that we can get out there. Um, the only real advantage that he could have is we don't have the best generals. He might have an OP general, but um, sweet. I think I think we got him. No problem. With three stacks is what I'm trying to say. I think three stacks should be able to just brutalize his troops. Perhaps I'm wrong. We'll find out. 
because I, I do have three stacks up poised and ready. They're going over there, heading over there. Now we have a lot of troops um, dilly-dallying about. We still have a lack of cannons. I'm not quite comfortable with the amount of stacks that we're operating on. I mean, this is garbage, we're using it, but the composition is really bad here. Oh, no, it's not. It's pretty good, actually. This is basically one stack. We need some more cavalry out here. Cool. Okay, that's 17. Four cavalry is needed, and 17 up to 22 is, is what? Five. Four cavalry, five infantry. This These guys can hang out in Egypt. I think it's going to be easier if I just delete these guys. Not the cannons, though. Um, hang out in Egypt, because I know we're going to have instability there in the future anyway, so we've got some nice farmlands, so that's another stack on the way when we will just wait for the troops to accumulate. And I'm really considering hiring more cannons, guys, to make, you know, more stacks with good composition, but, uh, yeah, the manpower, man. The manpower. Uh, we can take 15% manpower from the Pope, which is a lot. 15% is a lot for us, but we need to boost our stability up. It's priority. Stability actually affects, uh, you know, missionary strength, of course. How much did I attach it? Four. Damn it, four is not enough. Four is not enough. Let's just merc up here real quick. To help us deal with Brunei, he's pissing me off. And speaking of Brunei, this war is taking forever, man. I can't siege down his capital. I cannot bloody well wait to, for his capital to be gone once and for all. Hopefully gone for good. And our power projection, speaking of power projection, I think our, speaking of gone for good, rather, I think our power projection has, is gone for good, guys. Under 50. Feels bad, man. That's part of the, uh, it's kind of, uh, I don't know if it's a flaw, but it kind of irritates me, guys, that, um, you know, you become so powerful that your power projection goes. <laughs> it's kind of, uh, a little bit dumb. It's almost as dumb as the occupation of Rome on, on the Holy Roman Empire. Uh, that feels really bad, man. For me, that feels really bad, man. Why do you do this to me, game? Okay, this 50 stack. Let's go siege this up. Some rebels are about to work and walk into us. Uh, we should get defenders advantage, right? What the hell? We get attackers advantage when he's rebels? How rude. Luckily, we're stronger than the Persians by the looks of things. Alrighty, we got three stacks ready to go, so I guess... I'm going to be attacking Great Britain, but firstly, I want to put my light ships here so that they're not just roaming around and run into Great Britain's heavies. Uh, how's our absolutism? Let's boost it up again. Sixty. I'm sure we can find a fifty. Uh, somewhere. There we go. Okay, our absolutism is essentially capped until we do the golden era, which we are going to do very, very soon. Very soon, we'll make a golden era, and then it will go up by five. These bloody rebels are taking over the whole island while we're trying to siege this down.
I think we have enough manpower. I should just man up, hire some cannons. These guys are all sitting around here. We obviously have a a lack of cannons. That that's obvious. So let's do that. It sucks to spend my manpower, but we've got a a large buffer. You know, let's just hope that we can kind of uh, hopefully uh, prevent it from just bleeding out. I suppose. We're going for the 100% with the Ottomans. Damn it, I have to be at peace to start a client state, don't I? Life's rough, man. Life's rough. God damn it. I think I should hold off on declaring war on the British until we've pieced out the Ottomans. We're making good progress. We're not making good progress on Brunei. Like, it has been taking so long, but we're going to be able to peace out at the same time, at least. So let's quickly stack wipe these dudes. Um, then we're just going to be waiting on that fort to fall. So we can do both the Ottomans and Brunei. Start a client state here, hand off most of the core, and then we'll do uh, Great Britain and Bahamas simultaneously. Whew, pretty stressful stuff. Something's not right because this is not going to be 50. I miscalculated it. We need two more infantry to go down there. Okay, we're doing work all over. I should uh, remember to replace. Once I feel a little bit more comfortable and we've deleted some of the excess troops, Consolidate infantry, replace them with mercenaries, as long as our economy is holding up, and our economy is holding up very well at this stage. Yes, do not start another war. Okay. Alright, so we're fighting these two wars, and we're dealing with rebels. I feel like uh, I'm a little bit, uh, it's, in terms of my headspace, I'm, uh, I say a little bit, but a lot more uh, on top of things. The Ottomans are falling with ease. Brunei is falling. Hey, what the? Where are these guys coming from? Did they not get stack wiped? God damn it. I keep... God damn it. This guy is pissing me off. I just want to keep my guys here to blockade this. Just die, you bastards. As long as he has provinces, he just keeps jamming mercenaries. That is tilting me massively. I thought I stack wiped him, but apparently I didn't. Okay, Dutch, Dutch West Indies is about to be happy. That's cool. So hopefully, you know, our trust goes up to 50 with these guys over time. Man, our relations are full. Our trust is almost 50. Because still, get a freaking life, man. I think actually the British are supporting New Castile's independence, if I remember correctly. So that's one reason he's got, um, you know, the Dutch guys do have extra incentive because we only just inherited them recently. Like, I think I'll, tr oh, what the hell? I was about to say, I think I'll trust with them as garbage, but apparently not. I don't even know anymore. Truce comes up with four years in Scandinavia. We're going to be fully annexing him, uh, five years with the French. can almost boost our stability which boosts our missionary strength very important for us obviously but also just general stability now we've almost occupied it looks like we're working on every ottoman fort oh except for that one let's go up for that one pretty good these two cannons are going to allow us to make uh, two additional Stacks. Cool. 
Uh, again, I just want to reiterate, guys, we're still feeling some of the tedium, if it's not clear, from forming the Empire. Um, but in the upcoming episodes, life's going to be really good. Once we've got lots of stacks with good army compositions, we're going to start the Golden Era. I'm going to get another client state up and running. Sweet. The Ottomans look like they're about 100%able. It's actually this bloody province that we're waiting on. Okay, let's make sure that this guy's actually stack wiped this time. See, this is taking 15 months. Uh, it would be considerably better if we... What is this guy's tech? 24? God, just die, you bastard! Thank you, my goodness. Now, what I was going to say is, um, Siege Level 2 General. Let's take the Siege Level 10, just 2 General out here, instead of 1 and um, blockade it up, because we're actually going to be waiting on that, which is laughable. We're about to piece out the Ottomans. We've been at war with Brunei forever. Feels really bad, man. That's upsetting. It's really upsetting to me. I'm going to take one more stack over to overkill the British. Do not underestimate the Brits, guys. Oh my god, I actually have no idea how long this episode's gone on for, guys. I genuinely have no idea. I'm, I've been so uh, disheveled. Uh, uh, I think I think we're under 45 minutes, but I genuinely have no idea. I'm going to drag it out just a little bit longer. Um, I hope you guys have been enjoying this. Let's try to actually get some kind of satisfaction by ending the um, siege here. of uh, Brunei. Okay, prevent mercenaries from spawning. Yeah, the fact that we're not overextended, guys, this is very upsetting. Very upsetting. Okay. It shouldn't take too much longer, right? If... Hello? What happened? My guy seemed to not be transported, my little zero mercenary. I messed that up somehow. Very nice. Now, we did have rebel factions spawning all throughout this region, which has uh, actually been curbed due to our converting to Catholics, so that's cool. Alrighty, we're blockading. Where the hell? Sweet. Siege 3. That's what I'm talking about. Hurry up! How the hell? I bloody got rid of him. Oh, god damn it. Okay. Alright, let's do this. We got this. See, send the siege guy back. Don't consolidate. There we go. Stop suffering attrition here. It looks like we, we uh, took out the Ottomans easy. So let's position ourselves to uh, go into a war against Bahamnas. There's no bloody place to position myself, actually. We're, we're suffering attrition like crazy. Uh, I don't even know. Suffering attrition like crazy is pretty upsetting. What we really need is for this bloody war just to wrap up. Okay, so that is a full annexation. There we go. 0%. Progress! Progress! Please! You're killing me. Are there any rebel factions close? You? Who the hell are they? We've got a rebel faction progressing quite well. Them. 
Japanese. Okay. Well, that's that's priority after we deal with this, right? We should be okay there. Japanese. I plan to go back to fight the Japanese anyway. Yep. I'm going to have to leave a stack and kill while to stabilize it once we uh, declare war on him. But... I feel like we got a large amount of stacks, quite frankly. So that's not the end of the world. Okay, we need we need five more infantry here. And I will consider hiring yet even more cannons. But uh Not yet. Jeez, dude, the, the place that we can get some farmlands, aha, uh -huh, it's like in India, you know? There's some farmlands around here that we can actually station some troops in Asia. Because this is, is really horrible. God dang it, I knew that was going to happen. I knew it. I didn't know it. I didn't predict the rebels coming over there, but I knew once they finished that war, we wouldn't have enough troops to actually progress here. Okay, we're progressing now. Let's quickly go just uh, join these up while we can. What? Not yet, Brunei. Sweet. Get some army tradition there. 75. That feels pretty good. Not yet, Ottomans. Not yet. Almost. I'll almost piece you out. Okay, please bloody well siege it up. Please bloody well siege it up. God damn it. Damn it! What is this? Technology cost. Okay, it's 10 years of reduced missionary strength. And forever reduced our uh, national tax modifier for stability. It reduces technology cost. Uh, I don't like that. That missionary strength could make the difference. Ooh, 100 admin for improving our prestige. Yes, please. That's a good mission. Okay, the Ottomans seem to be making gains, or thinking he's making gains, as if, as if guy. This is actually so painful, guys. If anybody thinking like, oh, I'm failing and this is going so slow, um, you're kind of not wrong. Like, this is killing me. It is just torture. It's just torture. I want to be killing the whole bloody world. Thank you. But I was just waiting on that one damn siege. Okay, get the hell out of my life, Brunei. I don't ever want to see you around the, these here parts again. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? Get the hell out of my life. Now the bloody Ottomans are not fully peaceful, you bastard. question is why we dealt with the rebels I guess just go smack his troops up he's not even close does he think he's making gains is that it yeah no you're a joke let's go hit his troops up and he'll, he'll leave us alone okay we're doing well economically so I wonder it, how much money does uh, Nuka still have in debt ooh that's a lot. I was about to say it might be worth spending thousands because he'd give us a lot of money, pay it back, but yeah, not quite. This is really obnoxious right now. Okay, so construct the canal. 
Uh, don't think we need to do that. It's just not worth it. This is pretty obnoxious, Ottomans. This is pretty obnoxious, I'm not gonna lie. You're just not gonna piece me out for 100, even though, like, I've murdered your whole face in a half. Cool story, bro. At this point, that I value my time more than that little bit of war score. That was really nasty, guys. I'm going to be ending the episode here. I'm going to look for a higher development province around this region, like 18. There we go. Because it can be caught up for free via... So 18 will do. Via this method. That's fine. Screw it. I couldn't actually care less about this stuff. He's not going to be on the map for long. Uh, there we go. We now have a... We just caught that 18 development for free. Uh, next episode, guys, I'm going to be handing off a large amount of this core to him. Probably going to overextend him to 100%, uh, but that will remain some land for us to core up. Uh, but going to be going into Bahamas 100%ing him, dividing him between our two subject nations, going into uh, Great Britain 100%ing him, which we are actually going to core up uh, by utilizing these four stacks. And uh, that's going to be next episode. Uh, I'm also probably going to be starting other wars, such as uh, going into war against Japan. We're going to move up here to fight these uh, rebels and go into war, finish off Japan. Hopefully it won't be so tedious and take as long as it did Bahamas. Um, whatever their name is, excuse me, Brunei. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next episode. Oh my god, that took forever, and we don't have much time to conquer the whole freaking world. But hopefully I'm poised and ready to do it. Wish me luck, guys. Hope you're enjoying. See you later.